Hello again. Now, gender disparities in the science and engineering fields remain very stark. UNESCO and cosmetics company L'Oreal have partnered in, effort, in an effort to mitigate this. They're co-sponsoring the Women in Science Young Talent Search, an initiative that's been built as a beacon of hope and progress for Africa's scientific community. This comes as we celebrate Africa Month, and of course this weekend on the 25th of May, it's going to be Africa Day as we honor our continent's unity, diversity and achievements. L'Oreal's Michelle Hololo heads up the Women in Science program in South Africa. She joins us today uh, to talk about the significance of this initiative this Africa Month. Uh, Michelle, welcome to ENCA. Thank you very much uh, uh, for joining us uh, here today. The significance of what you are doing, I mean, cannot be lost to many of us who know about the big gap that exists when it comes to gender disparities in the fields of science and engineering, or the STEM subjects, as we call them sometimes mm -hmm. uh, for short. Why does L'Oreal do this? I think, Braden, thank you so much for having me and good afternoon to you and the viewers. You mentioned yourself, the gender disparity within the STEM field is nothing to be, you know, to be ignored. And as you know, only 30% of women are represented in the science field. And as L'Oreal, we saw it as an opportunity for us to come together and provide opportunities for young African women to have a representation within, you know, the science field. And most people might not know, but our founder, um, Eugene Shula, was a scientist. So it only makes sense for us now to adopt uh, programs that are in the line of science and what more supporting women in the science field. So